what measures do you think we can take at this point of time when the constitution stipulates only the strictest measure of uh, impeachment? Which has been a complete and total failure. V. Ramaswamy could not be impeached after a judge's inquiry held him guilty of some uh, 10 of the 14 counts against him. And it was a, it ultimately is a political decision, which is, is not the right thing. So nothing short of a judicial commission, my own view has always been, both for appointment of judges and for removal of judges. You must have that judicial commission. I, I, I don't think uh, this uh, uh, experiment uh, in the Supreme Court of appointment of judges ha has been a success at all. Uh, well, we will have the right Chief Justice, the right man, which you might not have others who are equally good. And it's just one veto which can defeat a good judge. Or worse, uh, it, it's a pact. I, uh, I want this particular judge. Uh, I won't oppose yours if you agree to mine. I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Uh, well, this, I think, is the, the greatest problem of judicial accountability. This judicial commission that you suggest, according to you, what would be the composition? Well, that's a vexed question. Uh, it would have to be, naturally, the Chief Justice of India, uh, maybe uh, Chief Justice of, of some other court, uh, eminent lawyers, and uh, maybe even the uh, leader of the House and, and the leader of the opposition. Uh, it, it would have to be. But this is something which once it is accepted in principle. Unfortunately, it's not been accepted even by sitting chief justices. And uh, once it's accepted, I think then it can move forward. But a judicial commission consisting of, of certainly the chief justice of eminent lawyers is, is something which would guarantee uh, both the best appointees and uh, disciplinary action when warranted.